So let's use your analogy. God is the one who created everything, yes? Okay. Uh, from you told me what's your name by the way? Yasmin. Okay. Yasmin, you are from Iran. You said to me you left uh, Shiaism. You were Shia, I assume. Yeah. Where are you Shia? Huh? I'm a Shia. Huh? What? Shia? Yeah. And then you became Christian in this country. And I understand in Shiaism, actually, it doesn't serve the truth because you were never exposed to the Sunni Islam. My father was Sunni. Your father was Sunni. What have you, what do you know about the Sunni, uh, the difference between Sunni? Okay. All knowing, yes? God is all knowing, knows everything, yes? God has independent will, yeah? Has independent will, which means that when God decides something, it's that it is of God. No can, no one is telling God what to decide, what not to decide, yes? You agree? No, Jesus does tell God. He sits on his right hand side. One second, one second. Uh, before we come to the point, yeah. Let's, let's we'll talk about the concept of God. God, all powerful, all knowing, has independent will. Meaning, if he wills something, we'll do it. So let's apply this on Jesus. Is Jesus all powerful? Why, why would you want to apply that to Jesus? Though? Because if you apply this to the Father, you'll find the Father is all powerful. If you apply this to the Father, you'll find the Father is all knowing. No, Jesus is crucified. I'm asking you, is Jesus all powerful? No, because he died. So, so did he choose to die? Or he was forced to die? The people who believe in God and don't believe in God, they crucify him, they kill him. No, that, that's not my question. Did he choose to die? Yes, he chose to die. So he committed suicide? No. He said, I will die. He said, I will die for the salvation. So that's suicide? For salvation. So if someone killed himself for the others, that's suicide? He never killed himself. The authorities killed him. Okay. So if I know, did, did he have the power to stop them? No power. So he's not all powerful? Not even the father took the power of him. No. So, so no, Jesus... So Jesus doesn't have power. So that how how come is you say God is all powerful and Jesus doesn't have power? How is that? What he did was he said God said this world needs my son to come and live in this world. So he will put the world as I want the world to be. Because after Noah he said I can't send floods. He said I can't I can't do anything else. The only thing I can do. He sent Jesus. So he sent Jesus. That's not my point. My point is, if not, Jesus is God. I'm not competing. I'm saying to you, you might believe in Allah. No, let, let alone what I believe. I'm asking. The is the same. No, it's not the same. Do you believe in your God? I believe in my God. We both go to heaven. No. We both go to heaven. No, my, my point is, no, my point is, no. I ask if you believe in other than God, as God, you will never go to, to, to paradise. Why? Because Allah, Allah mentioned clearly in the Quran. Allah will never forgive and pardon, uh, pardon associating with him partners. And Allah will pardon anything below that. So if you worship other than God, then you are committing, committing basically a shirk, associating with Allah partner. So that's why this is like a paganism thing. No, so that's why my point is... That the commandments like Moses, Moses had the Ten Commandments, the First Commandment. What's the First Commandment? Do not have any other gods before me. Okay. Who is talking here? Jesus? God. God. So now, how you put Jesus now to worship him? Jesus was the commandments as well. One second. Jesus obeyed the commandments. No. Jesus created the universe. Jesus created the universe. Where is this? Yeah, he did. He, oh. helped, he helped create the universe and he helped with the commandments. In the book of Mormon. Okay. So was Jesus God? Jesus was God's son. Okay. Was he God? Yes, he was God. So if he was God, how come God to be doesn't have power? No, he had power. He gave power to the Holy Trinity. That's why people. Do you understand? Church, like, for example, for example, for example, for example, is Jesus church. now here? God is all knowing, knows everything, yes? Yeah. Is Jesus all knowing? Not all 
So, so Jesus is not all knowing. That how are you describe him to be God and he doesn't know? He is born in a man. Like he's born in man. Listen, like listen to this. Listen to this. When Jesus said, when people asked him, when is the hour? They asked him, when is the hour? He said, no one knows about the hour, but the Father. Neither the Son nor the angel. The only one knows about the hour is the Father. So Jesus saying, the Son doesn't know about the hour. No problem. Thank you, brother. So, so Jesus doesn't know about the hour. So if Jesus doesn't know about the hour, you cannot use, you cannot uh, assume no, he's he God. Gives up his Holy Spirit. Gives up his Holy Spirit. Well, the light in the but, but, but one second, how he gives the Holy Spirit where the Holy Spirit is with him? When his body and his flesh, his flesh is gone. Is you're so confused. You're, you're so confused. You see here, yeah, why, why are you confused? Before he was crucified, when he was when he was on when he was on the cross, yeah. Before he died, did he know about the hour? How he's gonna die? Did he know about the hour, the day of resurrection, the day of judgment? So he doesn't know. Well, without even when the when the Holy Spirit with him, he didn't know about the hour. So Jesus doesn't know about the hour. About the resurrection. How can you have a resurrection if you don't have a spirit? You have a spirit. Before the spirit, before the resurrection, I'm talking about when he was walking on earth. No, he was a superman. He didn't know. He didn't know Jesus stopped him. So that's why he's not God. That's my point. Yeah. No, so, but we, we are people. Are we not? Are we not people? We are people, yeah. Yeah. But we are not God. God will not talk to any other person. Only people, only things. God, God talks to prophets. Yeah, he talks to prophets. So he talked to Moses. He talked to David. He talked to prophets. He and talked to Muhammad. In and this spirit comes from God. The spirit we have comes from God. Comes from God, yes. Yes. And Jesus yes, symbolizes fine. the same thing. He looks like he doesn't even know who his father is. He's Mary's son. He's Jewish. Yeah. That's and not my point. My point is, if Jesus is God according to you, yes. how he doesn't know things? He doesn't. So he's, he's not God. He's born from his mother. So he's not he, God. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. Okay, he good. So Jesus doesn't know anything. I accept this. So that means he's not God. No, he's human. Okay, he's a human. He's son of man and he's son of God as well. So okay, good. So Jesus is a human being. He's not God. Moses was son of God. Solomon was son of God. Children of Israel used to be children of God. Do you know what means son? Means servant. Anyone who's servant of God they used to call him son of God. Huh? In Even in Christianity. I don't think uh, Moses was the son of God. No, Moses in the Old Testament is the son of God. He was not the son of God. He was. Abraham was not the son of God. No. He Actually, the all the children of Israel are son of God. All the children of Israel. Yeah. Even yeah. Adam was son of God. No, they're prophets. You see here, don't confuse things. So when we talk about son, means servants. So children of Israel used to be called children of God. David was son of God. Moses was son of God. So that's why prophets of God used to be called sons of God. Not necessarily begotten son, but rather than to be sent by God. So that's why when Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. So that means Jesus is not true God. Yeah, Jesus is the Lord. He's the son of God. He calls down the Father. He's the son. Son means servant. If you believe he is servant of God, then fine. You understand my point? Okay, so he's not God. A minute ago you said he's God. I said he's a son of God. Okay, like David was son of God. So he's a human being. He's a prophet and he's a prophet sent by God. He's gonna be God now. He's gonna be God now. Who told you that? He has the right to be like his father. He'll follow he'll follow in his father's footsteps. Yes, of course. Well, where did you get this from? Uh, where did you get this from? <laughs> where did you get this from? I get this from praying. From praying, the Bible, You are so confused, sister. You are all over the place. None of the Christian said what you said, by the way. Even a Christian, they don't say what you say. They might not say that because they're not real Christian. You are the only real Christian. No. When I, when I, I feel like I'm a person. Okay? Of course you are a person. We are, of course we know you are a person. I know that. I appreciate the fact that God said, I will make a 
prophet, he will be a human being because he will walk on the ground. So all prophets they are he human beings. Uh, he will see the birds, he will hear the birds, and he will know what we go through every day in our lives. Yeah, that's a prophet. That's, what God that's a prophet, not, that's not God. God wants to see that all those millions of years ago, people don't care about him now. All those millions and millions of years ago, he came to this earth. Who, who came to his earth? He came to this earth, he was born and he died. And he did this so that God can make a record. He did this so God, God doesn't know before that? He had his other prophets. Did he know before that? Before Jesus. Is God all knowing? Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Listen, have you read the Quran? Have you read the Quran? Jeremiah, they all say there will be a son, he will be born of a virgin, his name will be Emmanuel, and he will come to the earth. But he's not Emmanuel. But that's not Emmanuel. No, it's not Emmanuel. So is Jesus Emmanuel? Yes, the name is Emmanuel. And then on the... Uh, so, have you read the Quran properly? Uh, listen to the Quran. Not listen, read, read. Do you have, you have translated the Quran? On YouTube. I'll listen to Jonathan Cain. To who? Jonathan Cain. Who's Jonathan Cain? He's this man. And uh, he's on YouTube. And he's talking about Iran. Like my mother's country, brother. Leave Iran. Leave Iran regime. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the Quran. Why are we? I know, I know, I know, I know. But I just find. Do you it want to have? Do you want to have Quran? If I take that, I have one already. But what I'm saying to you, if I convert Islam, then it might be I wouldn't convert. But I take on board what people say from these countries, yeah? Because I'm from these countries. I would be crazy if I don't listen to my own culture. Okay. People, Your own, I will tell you something. The, the problem is many of the Iranians, they left Islam because of the dictatorship that they have there and all of these political yeah. movements. But actually, but actually, but actually, because they didn't understand what's Islam. They didn't know what's the pure Islam. Pure Islam is totally different. Pure Islam is to worship this one God. Yeah. Follow the footsteps of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam as the final prophet. Not the Imams and things and the Mullahs and this and Khomeini and these ones. No, to follow Allah and the Quran and the authentic Sunnah yeah. of the Prophet. Peace but if there's a lot of people in one country and they all follow one religion, then everybody's going to believe in that country that that is God. Honest. But it doesn't matter. Hitler, during his time, people believe this is the truth, but that's so not we true. Are in the UK. We all believe in religion, yeah? Yeah, we but different religion. That's why we have to follow the truth. We have a choice. So I said to you, I would choose Islam if I could understand why man said on YouTube, he said that there's something called an antichrist or some kind of spirit. And he said it's from Iran and the Iranian people are crazy. They want to uh, support the Arab world. And he said, that this is the Antichrist. Okay. Church, church, uh, if I answer you, will, will, if I answer you, will you accept Islam? Church, Israel, if I answer you, will you accept dragon, Islam? The dragon, he's the archangel Michael. One second. If I answer you, will you accept Islam? I don't mind Islam. I don't mind it. No, 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 no you don't mind. I'm asking you. If I answered you, will you accept Islam? I can't for the commandments. I can, but I can't. I can't and I can't. Listen. It's like Basically, you, you the Antichrist, the basically, religions. the Antichrist will not come, by the way, by the way. Study all the religions as well because I study. Then, I study. Then, I study. then when you I accept study. it, you accept it, sometimes you say... Do you understand? Do you want to listen or do you want to listen to yourself? Yeah. In Islam, by the way, by the way, that hadith that you mentioned, that then when Antichrist appears, appears, he's not going to come from Iran. When he appears, he will be followed by Jews from Khurasan. Jews who lives there in Iran in this area, they will come wearing the tayalisa. They will wear, you know, with this garment. Yeah, the Jews who lives in that area, they will follow him. He didn't say peace be upon him. The Antichrist will appear from Iran, but he will work. He will work on all earth. Okay. So now only now two places. Only two places. He will not enter Mecca and Medina. That's all. That's all. And you know, you know, the people. Is that clear? This stuff. Is it clear? It, oh, is it clear? Yeah. What did they say? You said the Antichrist, the Antichrist will have somebody who's dressed in some kind of. Uh, no, I didn't say that. 
You are not focusing. I'm focusing. Should I repeat? Okay. Firstly, the Antichrist will not appear from Iran. He will appear from somewhere. Then he will be followed by the Jews who lives in Khurasan in Iran and this area, who lives in that area. They will follow him wearing the garment of the Jews. Those are what the Prophet peace be upon him said. You understand? So you have one Antichrist. There is one Antichrist. Antichrist. Antichrist, yes. Which is Al-Awar Dajjal. That is the one who will be appear on earth and then he will be followed by by many people and by the Jews, some of the Jews. Yeah, if they did accept it. I believe the Dajjal is Antichrist. Who? Dajjal. Dajjal is Antichrist. Now, going back to the point. So, so that's why I answered you. Now, from this, going back to the point, Jesus is not God. Jesus is a prophet sent by God. If you agree with this, then you are more, more Muslim than Christian. No, I believe in Jesus. As a prophet and messenger of God. He is not God. He is a prophet sent by God. So Jesus says in the book of Revelation, there will be the Antichrist. How we know? How we know? He said that 2,000 years ago. Listen, all the prophets and messengers warned the people against Antichrist. That's not the problem. I'm talking about the doctrine that you are using a scripture which was rewritten how many times in the history things being changed and added that's why the first intact you know bible it was 300 and something after jesus so you don't have original text there's no original text jesus spoke aramaic where is the aramaic uh, bible where is it doesn't exist so that's why that's why there is no aramaic uh, scripture because of this we said to you go back to the source the source is Jesus was sent by God. A prophet sent by God, that's all. Nothing else, no more, no less. No, it doesn't have to be anything else. The thing is, when people stop idolizing, saying... Which the Christian do, yeah. idolizing Jesus, yeah. worshipping Jesus. Yeah. We can't have any other religion. We have to have just Jesus. That's when things go antichrist. That's why we don't have to do that. Instead, we tell you, go back to Islam. Islam means submitting to God. Yeah. So submit your will to the will of God and retake your shahad and become Muslim. Like us. Why didn't you do that? I'll tell you what. Because Jesus is important to me. Okay? Who told you it's not important because, to us? No. He is a prophet. Do I believe in the dragons. Dragon? What dragon? dragon? Come on. Are you okay? In Revelation, Jesus says there's a dragon. When he's on the crucifix, he says there's a dragon. And he tries to eat a baby. A woman is pregnant. Come on. She gives birth. Falls. Tries to eat the baby. The woman escapes and lives in the. Come on, I think. I think. Where is this? Leave the dragon and the matter. The dragon fights God. He fights Yahweh. Wow. Yeah, he does. And the archangel Michael comes and takes the devil, the, the dragon, and put him in, a, in his abyss for a thousand years. So it's not just Antichrist. There's I dragon. think. I think you need to. You need to see some specialists. I can't deal with. No, I'm anyways. telling you, I'm telling you. Anyways. What 66 books say. And he says, okay. not only is there Antichrist, there's I never idolatry, saw a dragon. Idolatry people. I never saw a dragon except on TV with kids thing. So you see, you, you, I think you watch a lot of movies, I think. No, you won't see a dragon. Which movie that you saw? You won't one? see a dragon. No? Well, a dragon could be him, you, me, anyone. A dragon looks like all of us. The thing is, when people start, Come on, please. People Someone save bullying, us from this nonsense. Dragons, Think about, listen. Listen, listen. Dragons. Take that's this, when, take this and read. Leave all the dragon dragons. nonsense, listen. That's when things go wrong. Listen, listen. Listen, dragons. listen, listen, listen. Leave all this nonsense, no. dragon. I'll tell you, there's Antichrist beast. There's 666 six, six on her forehead. Okay. And there's dragons. And okay. And there's another prostitute and uh, Babylon. Okay, I wish you all the best anyway. Thank you so much. Thank and you for. Abyss. You had your water? The most important thing is the yeah. dragon needs an abyss. Okay, thank you.